Hi, welcome back to Quinoa Pot Creations tutorial videos, and today I'm going to do my first graduation cap. Size D, Nymo nylon thread, size 11 seed beads, size 10 Glover's needle, John James Glover, Glover's needle, and a cake cutter size graduation cap. I measured a half inch all the way around the cap so I didn't drew the line that I would be following in pencil, in the light pencil and I sewed a basting stitch all the way around the hat to keep the top in place and keep it smooth and that marked the center spot and that's where I start with my needle coming up wrap 20 beads around Come in through the bottom and go up a slant at a slant. So just continue on wrapping those beads around. And then I went about every five beads and then tied a knot. That kept those sections real tight and snug. And I didn't have to worry about them loosening up as I'm working. I have a tendency to uh, not you know, keep things nice and tight so gotta find little tricks to make it work so just continued wrapping 20 beads at a time around And just not worry about those that about the wrinkles, because the top of the cap. That's why I sewed it. Keep it nice and smooth, but those wrinkles will just get covered up by the beads. So keep rolling them and pushing them, and then get them real tight and snug. And then I tied a knot and pushed it way down inside. And you can't even see, you can't see it. The beads cover it up, hide it. Um, just make sure it's really tight and, and you won't be able to see. But that kept it tight for me as I'm wrapping and I'm working on it. And then I just continue. Straight in from the back. Work my needle in it at a slant to come up a half a bead space away from the row before so that my rows lay right next to each other and they're snug they're not crowded and they're not too far apart And those wrinkles get covered up by the beads but um, because it's sewn down and basted the top stays nice and smooth and flat so I just wrapped around making sure that I'm staying on that line that I drew and then do those drew a diagonal lines where I will start decreasing to make that angled corner following that diagonal line I'm just um, see how many beads fit 
wrap around and see how many will fit in there and then making sure I'm at that angle on the back side too. And just keep decreasing all the way to the corner. The corner's a lot easier to work on than the middle of the hat. And there you have the angled corners. And then finish one side. Once that one side is finished, you're just going to do that same design all the way around. I kept the plastic on because I didn't want anything to happen to this hat, so I give the plastic in, in the way. So measure the center of each side and that's why you start the next side. Yeah, always work from the center out. Keep your design symmetrical, and just pull that snug and keep working the way. Um, can continue unwrapping it from the back side to the front. Get a slant. Coming up right on that line. Kind of right up next to the line so that you're covering the line. And you're just going to keep it, stay straight. Just pinching it and rolling it, making them get real snug. Glover's needle goes in um, the cap really well. You know, I they say you. Uh, a, all or a T pin to poke holes, but the Glover's needle, size 10, works real well because you can bead with it. Um, you can fit size 11 beads on it. So, yeah, just following that line, diagonal line, and that's how you're going to get your corner. So we get to that corner, and we're going to match it up following that diagonal line. When you come up, you're still coming up at an angle, getting right next to the row. But you're going to start matching the rows up with the corner that's already done. So you're gonna check, wrap the beads around and check and make sure you have enough. The beads are matching up row to row in the corner. So you're just gonna close that gap by matching up those rows. match up from the back and then come up front and angle your needle to match up to the next row that's there put on a number of beads that will fit And we'll match up to the back side. I 
you can go all the way to the end and right at the very corner and put probably about three or four beads on that comes in between both sides and covers up the middle of the corner. Just making sure that their rows lay flat and smooth and the amount of beads you're putting in there will fit. So you're not bunching them up and you're not crowding them in. You're just letting them lay snug. Should we just keep matching up row to row until you get the corner done, and when they and they all match up and fit right snug with each other. You see that if there's if you need to cover up just the end. That's all you need. So that was it, and it's just. matched up perfectly to a point and went all the way around I did all four corners all four sides sorry and it turned out very nice very proud of myself for my first one very nice she'll be very happy with it so thanks for stopping by I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned some new tricks and stop by and join my Facebook group. Um, please answer all three questions. I won't let you in. Or you can visit my website at www.quinwapawcreations.com. Um, thanks for stopping by. See you next time.